Hi, uh, in this demo, I will show you how to build a Kubernetes native CI/CD pipeline using Tecton Pipelines project. So what is Tecton Pipelines? Uh, Tecton Pipelines is a set of uh, Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes style resources for uh, building CI/CD pipelines, which means uh, Tecton Pipelines provides, provide, uh, provides you with a set of uh, Kubernetes style resources, which are CIDs uh, for defining your uh, CI/CD pipelines. And it has a controller which will manage the state of your uh, CI/CD pipeline. These are the main CRDs provided by Tecton Pipelines. Uh, task, pipeline resource, pipeline, task run, um, and a pipeline run. I will talk more about them uh, during the demo. Uh, this is going to be the structure of our uh, application. So, uh, which has two services. One is a web UI server, and the second uh, one is uh, a backend service. And this is going to be our CI CD pipeline. So, it has two tasks uh, or two stages. The first step will, uh, first stage will take the source code and build a container image out of it. And the second task will take the container image and create a deployment on our cluster. Uh, this is going to be our end result, so which is a simple uh, voting application where you can vote for a cat or a dog. And we can see the result. The Tectron project has uh, different components, uh, and the, the main ones are uh, these. So, so the Tectron pipeline project gives you the controller as well as the CIDs. The Tecton CLI, uh, which is called TKN, is a very effective CLI to, um, to uh, work with your CI-CD pipelines and other Tecton resources uh, from your command line. We have a Tecton CD operator, which can be used to install Tecton pipelines on your cluster. Let us start by installing Tecton pipelines uh, on our OpenShift cluster. So where it is called the OpenShift pipelines, so it can be installed using the OpenShift pipelines operator. I can search for pipelines and find OpenShift pipelines operator. I can click the tile uh, and click install. I can uh, leave these uh, fields default and uh, click subscribe. Right now, the operator is installing OpenShift pipelines operator. Uh, in the meanwhile, let me show you the repositories that we're going to use in this demo. So this repository has the source code for the application uh, web UI. And this is the source code for the, uh, the backend service, uh, which is a separate repository. And uh, this repository has the definition for pipelines and other resources. You can see that uh, the operator has installed uh, OpenShift pipelines. Now we can start building our pipelines. First of all, let me start by creating a project. Um, so we need to provide uh, the privilege security uh, uh, security context constraint uh, for um, the build to work. So in this case, I'm using a task which uh, uses it runs as a privileged container. I'm going to add that. Okay. So now let me show you uh, the pipeline uh, code and how it looks. First of all, so we have to create a service account uh, and some permissions for uh, our pipelines. Um, so basically, I'm going to create uh, port services and deployment. So basically, I have to provide the permissions uh, to work with uh, those resources. And I also have a Docker secret, uh, so which is used to push uh, the, the built images to my private uh, Docker repository or the, my, my, my own uh, Docker repository. Let me create those. Okay. So the next thing that we need are resources. In Tecton pipelines, there is uh, a CRD called pipeline resource. Uh, pipeline resource, uh, the CRD pipeline resource is used to define endpoints or uh, or uh, objects uh, or the artifacts which are inputs or outputs uh, in the in the pipelines. For example, um, the source code for the UI is defined using this pipeline resource. So this uh, is this, this says the, the kind is pipeline resource, the type is git, and it points to this particular repository. And the name of this resource is voting UI source. 
the same way so we have uh, the source code of the backend uh, which is also uh, declared using uh, a pipeline resource uh, as a pipeline resource and uh, the name is voting api source and the type is git you also have to declare the images so for the ui uh, so we are declaring again a pipeline resource but this time it is the type is image instead of git and the name is voting ui image and it points to this particular docker uh, uh, url and this is going to be the pipeline resource which represents uh, the image for the backend service let me create those okay so now let me show you how, what a task look like so in the task uh, so we i have defined two different tasks one task uh, uh, will be the uh, task which represents the the build task and the second task will be for the deploy task the build task looks like uh, this so it's a kind task and specify some inputs and outputs the input is uh, the source uh, the source code so which is a uh, pipeline resource that we defined uh, so it is expecting a pipeline resource of type git and it is going to produce uh, an output which is a pipeline resource of type image and it can also we can also specify some additional parameters which has to be which has to be supp supplied later uh, so for example here we are taking parameters that that are uh, path to the docker build context and the path to docker file uh, a task can have multiple steps so it, it, it is uh, it can have a list of steps so basically a step is a container a template in a kubernetes so each step is run as a uh, as a uh, container and the task will be the port so in here we have only one step the step uh, is a canico uh, build step it uses Canico to get the uh, Canico to build Canico to build the uh, container image from the source code. Uh, so we also have the deployed task, the kindest task, and the name is uh, generic deployed task. So it specifies inputs. Uh, so the input is uh, so we have to get the container image, and then we also need a Git repository. We need a Git repository in the deploy task because uh, we need to get the deployment manifest uh, and service manifest so that we can uh, update the images and use that manifest to create the deployment. We have some parameters and we have two steps. The first step, uh, he will replace the image. So we'll take the, uh, uh, the YAML file, the deployment manifest, and replace uh, the image specified there with the new image that we built in the previous build step. And the second step is a kubectl based uh, simple apply step so which will create the deployment from the uh, updated uh, deployment manifest let us create the tasks okay so now we can specify a pipeline so this is how we will specify a pipeline so we are specifying uh, this pipeline so the kind is pipeline and the name is generic CICD pipeline so we have to specify the resources utilized by this pipeline so uh, we are providing uh, git sources we are providing images uh, and some parameters so uh, this pipeline has two tasks the pipeline build task which references the generic build task that we created before and the second uh, stage is a pipeline deploy task uh, which references the generic uh, deploy task uh, which we created uh, the last step so uh, the pipe a pipeline is a uh, is like a template so which specifies an order of tasks so now we can connect different inputs to the pipeline and run it for different uh, repositories. First, let me create the pipeline. Okay, create the wrong thing. One second, let's see.
Let me create the pipeline. The pipeline is created. Now let me show you uh, how TKN is used. So TKN uh, gives you the following commands. So you can interact with the pipeline, pipeline run, uh, get task, task run, resource, etc. If I list, um, if I list the tasks, uh, the resources, I can see um, that I have four resources. Uh, two resources for the uh, two Git repositories and two resources, uh, image type resources for the two images that I'm going to build. If I list the, ta if the task, I can see I have two tasks, the build task and the deploy task. And if I list the pipeline, you can see, you can see that I have created one pipeline. So now what I have to do is I have to run the pipeline for the two different repositories. Now I have to bind the inputs, so which are the resources to the pipeline and run it. So I do that. I do the uh, I do that. I do the uh, input output binding to a pipeline using something called a pipeline run, which is another CRD provided by Tecton Pipelines. So this is how a pipeline run looks like. So this is the pipeline run for the uh, the API build. So the kind is pipeline run, and it has name voting API pipeline run and it connects the resources. So basically it's expecting um, a, uh, a, resource, a, a resource with uh, which is being, um, being referenced as a generic uh, pipeline resource, pipeline source repo. And here I'm connecting the voting API source. And for the image, I'm connecting the voting API image. And again, for the pipeline uh, source repo CI/CD, that is from where this uh, manifest, the deployment manifest is being uh, taken. It is also uh, in the voting API source. So for the second uh, repository, which is the UI, so here I'm I'm using the same pipeline, generic CI/CD pipeline, and it is called the voting UI pipeline run. But in here, I'm connecting the UI source. The UI image and again the UI source. So first, let me run the API pipeline run. Created. So now, if I want to see the logs uh, from my uh, pipeline run or the build, uh, I can use kubectl. I can find the port. I can find the containers inside and get the logs logs from that. That, but which is going to be tedious and it can also be out of order uh, from different steps. Uh, from, from different tasks. But uh, here I'm going to use TKN. TKN has uh, uh, a command. TKN pipeline. I can list that and I can see that there is one pipeline run which is the uh, which is the voting API pipeline run and, and which is uh, currently running. Can list it using uh, this command as well. I plan run, which is running. So if I want to see the logs, what I can do is I can do tkn name and follow. So this um, tkn command will uh, label the the logs with the pipeline task and. Uh, the task being run inside. I will fast forward the log to the end of this uh, pipeline. We can see that uh, first the pipeline build task was run and the in internal task build push, uh, build the image. And then uh, after that, the pipeline deploy task was uh, run. Now let us, uh, uh, Run the pipeline again, uh, same pipeline, but again for the uh, the UI service. And this time I'm going to run it using the second pipeline run, which is um, which which binds the uh, the UI Git source and the UI Git the UI container image to the pipeline. Okay, so uh, the UI ha image has been built and uh, uh, the image has been deployed. So if I check, you see that the both pipeline run has succeeded. I can 
new start url go to my browser So this is how we build uh, a, a Kubernetes uh, native CICD pipeline using Tecton pipelines. And here you can find the links. I'll try to uh, share this uh, presentation with this uh, demo. Uh, so if you, you can contact us through the core OS uh, uh, Slack and in Tecton CD pipeline channel, or you can uh, find us on the Tecton CD Slack. Uh, so here, uh, the one thing I want to, one additional thing I want to show is these two repositories. So there is a repository called Tecton CD Catalog. So it has a list of uh, tasks which are commonly used. So if you want to start working with Tecton CD pipeline, and if you want to write a particular task, you can come here and find a task and you can modify it, you can use it in your pipeline. For OpenShift, we have some STY writer tasks which you can uh, find in this repository. Okay, thank you.